that right there is two thoroughly mashed chicken wings. I mashed them with that mallet. That right there is seven week old Halo. And this is a mukbang video. Halo is seven weeks old. I've been transitioning her to a raw diet over the last uh, week. She turned uh, seven weeks old yesterday. And she's made a lot of progress learning how to process these smashed wings. Again, I'm just documenting it to show people. There is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to eating this stuff. Plus, as she develops, you know, she gets larger and more efficient at it. I've also, over the last few days, begun introducing some uh, organ meat and uh, some uh, fruits and veggies into her diet. Uh, I just posted a, a video the other day showing her uh, being introduced to some sweet peppers, which she liked. Now I'm going to repeat some facts that I say in all my videos. Uh, that's because the vast majority of people who watch these feeding videos are uh, not my subscribers but are uh, new viewers. I feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet. BARF is an acronym for biologically appropriate raw foods. It's one of three main raw diets, the other two being the RMB, which is an acronym for raw meaty bones, and the prey model diet. The BARF diet was created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst, who wrote a couple of very good books on the topic. Give your dog a bone and grow your pups with bones. I'll have both of those linked in the video description for you if you're interested. I'll also uh, provide several other resources in the video description. Again, uh, I don't act like I'm any kind of expert uh, on this kind of stuff. This is just what I've been doing for the last uh, 20 years. I'm an animal warden and uh, I found a lot of success at it and I thought I'd pass along that information. I am though just some guy on YouTube and I always recommend you do your research and I've provided many links in the video description to help you do that. Halo has grown quite a bit the last week she's been here. Now as I always say, you don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with canines. They are biologically designed to deal with it. They have stronger digestive juices and a much shorter g track than we do. 36% of dogs and 18% of cats carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. Again, these wings have been thoroughly smashed with a mallet. You don't want to cut them up into small pieces. You want them to chew off bite-sized pieces. That's what their teeth are for and this is how they eat in the wild. The problem with cutting it up is they tend to uh, gulp it down without chewing it. Another common mistake people make when introducing raw food to their dogs is uh, they don't feed it with any bone and if you give them just the meat without the bone you uh, screw up their calcium to phosphorus ratios which will give them diarrhea. You see she processed that first wing uh, very efficiently and quickly compared to uh, her first uh, raw feeding video last week and you can go back and compare the two if you'd like. It's 
perfectly safe for your dogs to eat raw bones. Again, they are biologically designed to uh, do that. It's cooked bones that are dangerous for your dogs. You never want to give them cooked bones, including those smoked bones they sell at pet stores. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone, and it makes it prone to uh, bowel obstructions and uh, perforating the bowel. Raw bones don't do that. In all the exercise and oral stimulation, they get chewing through these raw meaty bones. Also prevents your puppy from uh, chewing on inappropriate things around the house. I've often, I've also found as somebody that has uh, trained dogs over the years in personal protection that uh, raw fed dogs, dogs that grow up eating raw, develop a much stronger jaw strength than their kibble fed counterparts. And again, you, you can see watching this uh, video why that would be the case. I mean, look at all the exercise she's getting chewing this up. Well, that's my little sweetheart, Halo, seven weeks old, eating a couple of raw chicken wings. Well, that's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that uh, notification bell down below and you'll get uh, notifications when my new videos come out. I also have a uh, playlist in the video description of all my raw feeding videos. I probably have close to 90 to 100 videos. If that kind of stuff interests you, check them out. I'll provide a link for that also. Before you ask me any questions in the comments regarding feeding raw, I ask that you... Uh, Check out the several links I provided in the video description down below. 99.9% .9 of any raw feeding questions you have will be expertly answered in the, those links I provided. They'll be able to give you a much thorough, uh, much more thorough answer than I could give you in a brief comment uh, by text. Again, that's all. Bye. Bye from my sweetheart.